Hello, this is Matt Cannon with my thoughts of the day. I'm out here in nature, enjoying a nice time out here. It's nice and sunny, refreshing here in Florida. And I want to talk to you about a few quick things. I'm going to read some portions of something I read recently from David Perrell. Now, he's the founder of Rite of Passage, and he's all around a very smart thinker, a very smart and gifted writer. And he always seems to come up with things that um, are very useful. And me being a guy who always likes to talk about contradiction and stuff like that, he had this thing titled The Paradoxes of Modern Life, and it really caught my attention. Um, and so I wanted to just share some of the thoughts from it. Um, I recommend going and reading it. He, he has like a nice one page write up and I'm gonna give you just a little overview of it. So again, all credit goes to him. The first thing he said on the paradoxes of modern life was he talked about the paradox of reading. And he says, the books you read will profoundly change you even though you'll forget the vast majority of what you read. And I think that's true. Um, I think as you read more and more books, you consciously forget a lot of things. Like sometimes I'll talk to someone about a story or read, and I just won't remember all the details. And yet, subconsciously, a lot of that stuff gets in there and it changes you, it molds you. He talked about the paradox of writing. He said, great writing looks effortless, but because the ideas are so clear, casual readers don't appreciate how much time it took to refine them. And I thought of that, some of the best things that I've done, presentations, um, explanations, whatever it is, have been things that are super simple and memorable. And probably when I did it, people thought, what is the big deal about this? It's just, it's a basic stuff that everyone knows. But the reality is by doing the work, by taking the time to distill it into some simplicity, it looked, looked simple and effortless. He says, the paradox of creativity, your work is done when it looks so simple that the consumer thinks they could have done it, which means they won't appreciate all the hard work you've done. And that's true too. The, this one I really liked because I think decision-making is probably one of the biggest skills that we underestimate. Um, and it says, the paradox of decision-making. It's better to choose, commit, and get started instead of waiting for the best possible option. So the correct decisions are actually suboptimal. And especially when you're doing initiatives and you're trying to get stuff done, I find that this decision-making and being able to use the right degree of, okay, we're going to make a decision, we're going to move forward, we're going to incrementally move the ball forward a few yards, even though it's not the, the touchdown pass but yet we're moving the ball forward and this decision is the best decision for, for this next step. And I like that. Um, and then he said the paradox of specificity. In the age of the internet, when everybody has Google search and social media, differentiation is free marketing. The more specific your goal, the more opportunities you'll create for yourself. Narrow your focus to expand your horizons. And again, it's this lasering in tight to actually make a broader impact. And I think the more specific you get on your niche and finding what that niche is, the more that you're gonna be able to, to do some things related to it. And then they said the Abilene paradox. And it says to tell 10 people to get ice cream, if they have to agree on a flavor, they'll pick chocolate or vanilla every time. Groups of people don't agree on what's cool or unique. Since people agree on easy, consensus is just another way of saying unremarkable. And that's where I think it's good to kind of be out on the edges a little bit. And do if you're doing things that people think are a little bit crazy, then you're probably doing the right thing. Um, for me, recently, it's been, I've been on this um, NFT journey, non-fungible tokens. And I've been joking with my kids as I spend money on JPEGs, you know, which is just things. And you have the whole right-click save. Um, but, but you see companies like Adidas partnering with like Board Ape Yacht Club. And you have companies um, like Nike buying brands um, and it's it's just a tremendous you know it's not consensus but it's it's out on the edges which is which is really good and the last thing he said was the paradox of strategy the same things that help you achieve outlier success 
also increase your chances of outlandish failure. For example, investing with leverage increases your chances of risk and reward. And this is where, again, going back to the NFTs, you could have the chance of reward, but you could also have the chance of extreme failure. And I think in the early dot-com um, bu bubble and things that were going on, pets.com and other companies, there was pets.com and then there was amazon.com, which became Amazon. And it's, it's definitely not everyone is going to win. You have a high chance of risk and a high chance of reward. So these ideas, just the paradoxes of modern life, are things that I think we don't think about enough. We don't think about how a lot of times you make progress in one area, but it's actually retracting from another. And so these are just some of my thoughts, which are just, just my thoughts of David Perel's thoughts. He's great. I really recommend. I think you'll get smarter just reading his stuff and listening to his videos. He's very good at putting things in a concise way. So I'm just repackaging, repurposing some of his things and sharing it with you. Um, but this is Matt Cannon. These are my thoughts of the day. Signing out.